The story of Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, building his ship in the flood. God sends Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, to his people, where he preached day and night for 950 years, calling his people to worship the one God and follow his commandments. The more he would call his people, the further they would run away from him. They would also put their fingers in their ears and cover their faces when he preaches to them. His people denied, mocked him, and stated that he is nothing special but another human being amongst them. Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, agreed he was only human, but he was sent from God the Glorious with a clear warning. Prophet Noah told him to repent and ask Allah for forgiveness, as he is the all-forgiving. He told them that if they believed in the message and asked Allah for forgiveness, Allah would shower His blessings upon them and bless them with wealth, children, gardens, rivers, and fruits. Prophet Noah would ask his people, Why do you disbelieve in Allah when He created you and created everything around you? His people were disrespectful and arrogant. In the end, after 950 years of preaching, only 80 people or so believed in His message. After the denial, God instructed Noah to build an ark. As he was building the ark, his people accused him of being a madman for building a ship made of wood and nails on land, nowhere near any water. Soon, water started to gush from the earth and fall from the sky. God instructed Prophet Noah to enter the ship with the ones that believed in the message. He also commanded Prophet Noah to take a male and female of every animal aboard with him. Then God caused a great flood, where water gushed from every crack on the earth, and rain fell from the skies like never before. Prophet Noah, peace be upon him, saw his son overwhelmed by the water. So he cried out to him, pleading him to board the ark with the believers, and to leave the non-believers to their fate. However, his son was thinking in terms of this worldly life, and did not rely on the trust in the word of God. He replied to his dad he would go to a mountain where the waves would not reach. Noah cried out to his son. His son refused. Then he was drowned with the disbelievers and Noah's wife, who also disbelieved. The flood had cleansed the earth of idol worshippers and disbelievers. Not a single person who had disbelieved in God remained on earth. The ship remains intact upon Mount Judy until today. God left it as a sign for us.